G'day, it's Phil from PT Precision again. We've got a Ford Transit van 2017 model. Uh, two litre Duratorc, turbo diesel obviously. So this thing stopped down the road, couldn't get it going, so had to have towed in. Just starts and stops, a quick scan of it. Um, and it's got uh, the DPF is... DPF is 197% um, to capacity, right? So the thing's blocked. So we're going to try a new product now. Uh, there's a couple of products out there on the market. This one is by Tuna. Uh, and it's a two part product. We put a solution in, let it soak, and then we do a rinsing aid. I'm just going to see, this is without pulling the DPF off, yeah? So it's a quick alternative. It takes a bit of time, but it's. it's it's gone in through one of the temperatures. You've got the temperature sensor off, is it? Or yeah, what have you got? Temp, yeah, temp sensor out of there. I mean, just, just feed it in a bit. You know, feed. Well, I don't want to push too much into it. We're just feeding it around. That's, that's what it's feeling like. Yeah, it's like a big bit of foam, yeah? That's a big foamy. I just want to have a look at this, see what it's doing. Yeah, so it's just foaming that all up. <laughs> it's just quite interesting. But yeah, it's got to it's got to go through and soak soak in there and just dislodge the particles and break them down. Yeah, and then there's a rinsing one before. Look, we have used some other products as well. There is a liquid molly product that we have used and we've had pretty good success with as well. Um, we're just trying to you know, support some companies out there. If they've got a good product and they want us to test it, we, we will test it. We'll tell you whether it's any good or not or what we actually think of it. Um, we're using a few of their other products. At the moment, I'm a little bit skeptical on some of them, but we're, we're trying them. We're trying some other products as well. So, because um, we're not using our other normal product that we'd normally use, that we've been using for 15 odd years. We, they shafted us in the ass, so we'll do the same back to them, so whatever. But they've never been around. This guy comes around all the time. Easy to get along with, easy to talk with. So anyway, we'll, we'll let you know how we go with this, see how the blockage goes and if we fix it. Is it going? <laughs> so we've got it running. You're doing the DPF. Point. Mate. Well, it seems to be working now. Last night we could not get it started, it wouldn't start, so it has an actual EGR problem as well with this thing. So, what we've done is blocked off the EGR, so that's why the soot content is so high in this DPF. So, we're just doing a regen now. <laughs> Seriously, I'm that scared. But work on one thing after the other, so we'll just do the to this and then we're gonna get make sure we get an EGR valve for it. Huh? Oh it's not just cleaning it out. Yeah this is the tune up stuff. Just cleaning out on it. Okay but it's running. It's good. Yep. <laughs> so we've tried to do a force regen but it still won't at the moment. So this is the chemical the tune up chemical it's still burning out of the exhaust. It's up at temporary operating temperature, obviously. But I mean, Here this was go. this was really blocked. This DPF, so it's, Fire uh, it's obviously getting better, but uh, creating a creating a new cloud. Yeah, it seems to be working.